Hello, everyone. Um, good morning or good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you come from in the world. Uh, welcome to this fourth, to our fourth webinar. And today it's about our machine, the Swiss Deco 36. Um, we will be together for about uh, 30 minutes, depending uh, how many questions there will be during this webinar. Uh, we will either prolong or make it a bit shorter. And together, today, uh, I'm together with Paul Casella from Tornos Technology uh, USA and Michael Duner from Tornos here in Moutier, Switzerland. Both are experts for the machine Swiss Deco 36. How is a webinar working here at Tornos? Uh, we want to keep everyone um, anonymous. So that means that only the presenters are talking during this uh, webinar. Um, so the microphone for all of you uh, is off during the webinar and nobody is visible uh, during the session, meaning that your, cam your webcam, your name um, are, not, uh, are not visible by the others. And also the question that you will be asking if you ask question in the chat, uh, only those questions are visible by, by us. Uh, so the only way to interact with us is basically through the chat. And we invite you to ask um, all the questions you have about the Swiss Deco 36. So don't hesitate. Uh, we, we are here today to answer them. That being said, we will now broadcast the little video that we prepared about the Swiss uh, Deco 36, and we come back to you afterwards for the question and answer session. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans notre centre de production de machines Tornos ici à Moutier en Suisse. Aujourd'hui, nous allons vous présenter une machine à la pointe de la technologie et de l'innovation, la Suisse Deco 36. Alors Brice, peux-tu nous en dire un petit peu plus sur cette machine et ses caractéristiques bien particulières alors c'est une machine de, de grande capacité, euh, capacité 36 mm. Euh, elle possède trois systèmes d'outils, neuf axes linéaires et euh, elle a la particularité d'avoir un système d'outils qui repose sur un axe Z modulable en fonction des, des versions. C'est bien sûr des par usine, mais on a par exemple ici une version G qui est finalement la version de base. On a un premier peigne ici que vous découvrez là, un second peigne là. Ce peigne-là a la particularité d'avoir un axe Z, ce qui lui permet de faire des opérations de perçage profond ou de course-poursuite, quelque chose de relativement intéressant. On a ici le bloc de contre-opération ainsi que la contre-broche. Mais surtout, on a ici une machine avec des courses extrêmement généreuses. Vous voyez que la zone d'usinage est extrêmement vaste, l'évacuation des copeaux est excellente. Ça permet euh, notamment de faire des pièces d'une du, longueur relativement impressionnante puisque cette machine peut extraire des pièces de plus de 600 mm de long. Évidemment que la Suisse Deco euh, 36 n'est pas la seule machine à pouvoir faire des nails de 600 mm de long. Par contre, ce qui est intéressant, outre les différents anglages qui ont été faits surtout pour exploiter et pour vous montrer le potentiel de la tourelle et de son axe B, c'est le perçage profond qui a été réalisé ici. Donc un perçage profond de 500 mm avec une messe spéciale développée avec la, la maison Guring. Comme vous le voyez sur le film, on a développé un, un support spécifique et on indexe la, la tourelle de manière euh, douce, on dira, afin de ne, pas, de ne pas plier cet outil relativement spécifique et qui permet de réaliser cette, cette opération. Le temps, de cycle, le temps de perçage est de presque 15 minutes. Euh, donc on est sur un temps de cycle relativement long avec, avec cette pièce qui est, réalisée, qui est réalisée en inox. Comme sur presque toutes les machines Tornos, la broche et la contre-broche sont de même puissance afin de pouvoir balancer les opérations de manière optimale entre opération principale et contre opération. Si on découvre une des, une des broches, ou plutôt la broche de la machine, on la voit ici, donc elle est relativement imposante. Cette broche inaugure une nouvelle technologie de moteur 
euh, extrêmement efficient puisqu'on a une broche qui fait 10 kW mais qui développe 56 Nm de couple. La force de serrage est de 25 000 Nm, donc on a vraiment une machine qui est extrêmement performante et qui permet des taux d'enlèvement de copeaux relativement importants, voire très importants. Je pense que c'est même unique sur cette, euh, sur cette catégorie de machines. Donc comme vous le savez, Swiss Deco est une plateforme d'usinage à haute performance et qui dit plateforme d'usinage à haute performance dit aussi périphérique à haute performance. C'est pour ceci qu'on trouve ici un conteneur avec les périphériques qui euh, permettent à la Suisse Déco d'offrir un usinage optimal. On a le dispositif de refroidissement des broches, on a broche et contre broche à refroidissement liquide évidemment, un bac à huile de 400 litres. Au-dessus de ce bac à huile viennent prendre place différentes pompes de pression, différentes pressions disponibles en option en fonction des besoins de, de l'usinage, des besoins de la pièce. On trouve également une filtration papier qui permet d'avoir un, une huile de coupe de qualité, exemple de boue par exemple. En option, on peut venir adjoindre un dispositif d'extraction des, des brouillards d'huile. Sur chaque Suisse Déco également, on retrouve un convoyeur à copeaux haut de gamme qui permet de vraiment garantir une évacuation des, des copeaux de, de qualité. Voilà, donc voici en quelques mots pour la, la Suisse Déco 36. J'espère que vous avez apprécié cette vidéo. Pour les personnes qui sont intéressées, on les accueille très volontiers à Moutier. La machine est disponible, elle est, elle est montée sur la pièce et c'est volontiers qu'on vous, euh, qu vous montrera l'usinage qu euh, en respectant bien sûr les normes de sécurité imposées. Merci à tous et à bientôt. All right, back to you now. Um, so we said it in French, but we hope uh, you liked this video. Uh, we come now to the question and answer session. And some of you have been asking questions in the chat. Uh, so first I will give the words to, to Paul. Paul, first question is what is the talk on the main spindle? The talk on the main spindle, it's... Uh... Well, I'm sorry. The torque on a main spindle is 53 newton meters, and this is uh, for both spindles, for the headstock and the counter spindle. The machine is most likely one of the most powerful uh, Swiss type machines out there, so this should be we should be able to to face any problems you have with that type of uh, power. Okay, thank you, Paul. Um, second question, can we envision real machining with the B-axis of the turret? Certainly, yes. Uh, the machine was built that way, so you can have, a, you can have, a, you know, you can interpolate all those things. And that, the turret is quite big and it uses, uh, you know, powerful tools, so we should have, should not be a problem. Thanks a lot. How many tools can you install in back operation on the Swiss Deco 36? Uh, in back operation, we have been very generous. We have been really took care of that. And in counter operations right now, we can mount 16 tools. Okay. And 12 of them can be rotating. Now, if we have to, we can also bring in the, the, count, the, the turret, you know, the, and uh, have additional tools that way. Uh, the drive in counter operation, actually, it's a very powerful one. It has 8.2 uh, newton meter of torque, and it's basically it's the same. It's the spindle motor that we use on us on uh, on one of our screw machines. Good. Thanks for the answer. Um, next one. There are quite some questions, but what is the part length on the machine? On the machine, in one clamping, we can do 300 millimeters. Then, uh, as with all our machines, we have also, we can do multiple clampings. So, as you saw with the nail there, uh, we, you know, we can go up to 600 millimeters and most likely with special developments, we might be able to go a little bit more. Uh, ejection through the front of the counter spindle is 200 millimeters, which is about eight inches. Okay, um, 
question more related to the back is the high pressure uh, pump delivered with the machine. Yes, with the machine we deliver. We we have we can have actually a couple a couple uh, different high pressure pumps, and we can go up to three uh, to 340 bars, which is 500, uh, which is almost 5,000 psi. But uh, many times we deliver machines. We, we put two high pressure pumps with it. With, there is enough room into the container to allow for that. Is there a third position guide bush available on the Tuesday call? Yes, yes, we do have that. We have a three position bushing, so you can have you can uh, be open, adjusted, and closed. The, the, when it's closed, it, it becomes very helpful because what's happened is if you do some milling, and with the power of the milling attachments we have now, that will help a lot to you know to to, to for rigidity. Okay, so basically people can work with and without guide bush on the Swiss Deco. Yes, yes, the, the machine comes standard. You can work with our guide bushing, and without the guide bushing, we can go up to 36 millimeter in diameter. Thank you. Another question: What is the performance of the machine in terms of deep hole drilling with the Z2 axis? Well, as you saw it on the on the on the video. We have gun drilled uh, 500 millimeters. So, I mean, that's about 20 inches. Uh, that's good. We should not have any problems. But, I mean, we have, uh, we have, with the machine, we come, we install high pressures with it and uh, should not be a problem at all. Thanks a lot. Um, another, another question, what is the straightness of the bar required? The straightness of the bar required, it, it's, uh, I think it's about uh, one tenth of a millimeter per meter, but that, that, is, that, is, that is required even by the, the supplier of bar loaders. I mean, we stick more by that than, uh, than, uh, than, you know, the straighter the bar, the higher RPM you can go. If the bar, if the bar looks like a, a cooked spaghetti, it's not going to work well very well. Exactly. Thanks for the metaphor, Paul. Um, do you, another question: Do you have to use the sliding headstock all the time, or if is there a choker mode on the Swiss Deco? For the time being, I believe we have only, you got to use the headstock. Now to use it as a chucker, meaning that you're going to load blanks into it. I'm sure that we can do that. Uh, the best thing to do is uh, if anyone has an application of this type is you send us the drawing and we will, uh, we will uh, study it and we will get back with you. Uh, many times, many times we have a whole team of engineers that what they do, they look at this type of uh, at this type of requirement uh, request, and we respond accordingly. Thank you. Um, I have one last question up to now. Can parts be unloaded through the counter spindle? Uh, Michael, you want to take that one? Yes, for sure. On our machine, we have the opportunity to unload part up to 600 millimeter, and this one should be made through the counter spindle. It's the same way if you know our machine like the Evo Deco, you have uh, one piston will come to push the part through, and you can extract it up to 600 millimeter long. All right, that was the last question up to now. Uh, first of all, thanks everyone for, for asking so many questions. We'll leave you um, a little while to, if you have, uh, we'll leave you the opportunity to, to uh, ask other questions. And if there are no questions, then we,
we will end this uh, webinar, but we will give you the opportunity first. Ah, we got one, uh, Paul or Michael, we'll see. Uh, any plan to increase diameter to 42 millimeters? As far as I know, I have not heard, but, uh, you know, uh, that anything is possible. With the, again, the best thing is to supply, to submit us, submit us, submit us some prints and we will uh, analyze them and get back with you. Yes, uh, so um, I will add, I will add to that, that all the questions that, uh, you uh we 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 couldn't uh, answer today we will uh you can always uh, uh drop an email and we will come back to you also if you forgot to, to uh, ask something uh, don't hesitate to contact us we'll give you the contact details um, at the end of this presentation so we we'll leave you uh, another few seconds to to ask your last questions If that's not the case, then we will end the presentation. All right, so a few more slides. Um, as I said before, if you still have questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with Tonos. There are different ways. Uh, first of all, the website where you find all information uh, related to products, but also our contact details. Uh, so uh, if you are located in the US, um, go on the US webpage, for example, and uh, there you find everything. We also um, post a lot on social media, so you can follow us on our uh, social media channels, such as LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Um, you can also contact us directly here in the contact details below. Um, for sure, for uh, if you're located in uh, not not in Switzerland, that's maybe not the, the the right contact. But you find all the information on our website. And I saw that a question came um, right at the end. Paul, is the V groove machining possible before we end? Is tell me again. Is V, is v groove machining possible? Yes. Yes. Yes, I would say so. All right. So there is no other question in the pipe. So I would say we are at the end of this presentation. So we thank you uh, for your attention. Thank you for all the questions you've been asking today. And uh, talk to you soon and have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.